Hey, what's up? I'm Brett with Premier Guitar. I'm here in Alsip, Illinois. I'm here with Todd at Peterson Stroke Tuners. Todd's the lead technician um, in this interesting little room here. We've got all kinds of cool stuff going on. Todd, uh, I want to bring people into the heart of the beast a little bit and show them kind of what the guts and the inside and I mean there's strobing going on everywhere here. Tell me a little bit about what you have happening. Uh, right now I'm doing final assembly on the, the SC5000, our 12 wheel uh, strobe tuner. Uh, it's 12 individual wheels. They uh, each take a note. We can individually change the the speed for each one, so for different tunings. Sure, sure. And it can, instead of uh, having to change the note, you can see you can actually see a chord because multiple wheels will react at the same time if, if multiple notes are being played. And you, you told me a funny little story about uh, a, a family member. Yeah. My my sister lived in a small town in Texas, whose claim to fame was they had three stoplights. But their high school had an SC5000. <laughs> and there you have it. That's pretty funny. Um, so what exactly are you working on here right now? Right now, I'm centering the, the discs. They come raw from a manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And let's see. give you OK. If you can see that there's a little hula effect. Sure. There's, it, it kind of wobbles oh, as it wobbles. rolls. Wobbles. Yep. Well, if you you can see now it, that one's perfect. This is one I've already set, mm -hmm. and that's going to be another one that I, that still needs perfection. And what do you actually do to set it and calibrate it? Uh, mostly I do it by eye. I open up the center hole and very carefully move it increments until I'm happy with it. Okay, and then you tighten down with this bolt right on top? Mm-hmm, and it locks it down. Well, that's really cool. And just behind me over here, um, you've got the Strobe Center 5000. There's a bunch of them all lit up. What are these guys doing right now? Uh, they're doing at least a 24-hour burn-in. Some of them are now ready. Uh, I've done a, a post-burn-in test. Then they will cool down for at least two hours, and I will do a final test and clean them up and send them to shipping. Well, talk to me about burning in a little bit. Uh, when you say we're doing a burn in with the tuners, I mean, I think in terms of amplifiers and tubes or a break in period for speakers or things like that, is this a similar function? Uh, for the electronics, yes, there, but also there are actually motors with bearings that need to, uh, I mean, th these aren't just solid brass. There are ball bearings in there. Wow. To, to, and uh, you have motors can get a little wonky uh, one, one way or the other. So we give them a f at least a full 24 hours to, to set to make sure they're going to stay happy, quiet. So in basic terms, it's similar to, say, somebody buys a new car and they tell you, hey, don't rev down on the gas too far for the first 1,000, 1,500 miles. And you guys are basically getting these things kind of loosened up, locked in, so they work right. Yes, I mean, uh, a motor that starts misbehaving, is not only can it, can it be noisy, but it can affect the image because they have to turn perfectly smoothly. And, and it's all about getting that image to be perfect so we can find the accuracy when we're tuning the instrument. Yes, I mean, I, you, you go up and that top band any imperfection will be unreadable. So so this is a, a pretty delicate task here. And you said there was a lot of hand work involved here. Yes, the, the, these aren't just manufactured, they're crafted. So similar to a hand-wired tube amp that's you know, built, wired, designed, put together with care, you guys take the same approach with the, the heart of the stroke tuners here. Yes, and 12 times the difficulty of doing one of our auto strobes. Sure, because that's just one wheel we're seeing. Right. Okay. So, well, this is really great stuff. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to show us the inside of things here. Sure, great. Um, hey, I'm Brett. You're watching PremierGuitar.com. <laughs>